engineering manager interviews are very complex. You have to demonstrate your technical prowess, experience designing complex systems, and skills in people management. In general, the engineering manager interview consists of three stages, the recruiter screen, the manager screen, and the on-site. Stage one, recruiter screen. In your 30 minute interview here, the recruiter will ask you questions about your resume, light technical questions to gauge your domain knowledge, and behavioral questions to assess your leadership and working style. Be authentic and genuine while also showing that you've done research on the company and that you're excited to be there. Stage two, manager screen. In this interview, you'll speak with a hiring manager about your technical skills and domain knowledge. There might also be a technical screen in this interview. Expect to talk through why you're the best candidate and how you'd add value to the company and to the team. Stage three, on-site. On-site interviews vary, but they follow a very predictable structure. You'll interview for several rounds for three to five hours in total, and you'll have a lunch break in between. Here, you'll be asked behavioral questions about how you've led engineering teams, and EMs may also be given a technical screen, which might include a coding challenge or a system design interview. There may also be a separate round for a project retrospective. I encourage you to gather as much information as you can from the recruiter so that you can do your research and be best prepared. And then after this stage, if all goes well, you'll get an offer. So to best prepare for your EM interview, here are three tips. Tip one, develop a story bank. Choose five to 10 relevant experiences that made an impression on you. If you're preparing for a specific position, it's good practice to map stories to the needs of that role. You might also want to map stories to the company's values. For each story, write down the who, the what, the when, the where, and the why, and then think how you'd convey this in a structured manner, perhaps using the STAR framework, situation, task, action, and result. Consider how the story demonstrates your experience and how it fits into the larger business goals. Consider the technical decisions and the trade-offs that you made, what complex decisions that you had to be a part of, how did you reflect on these decisions. Also, be sure to think through the people side of the project as well. How did you work with others to accomplish the goals of the project? Once you've crafted the stories, think through some of the main lessons and values imbued in them. What values do these stories represent? What do they say about your leadership style? What might you have done differently? These are all questions that you should be thinking about, and by reflecting on them, you'll be very well prepared to show the breadth and depth of your experience. Tip two, research the process. Every company has their own way of interviewing engineering managers, so do your homework. If you understand the mission and core values of the companies that you're applying to, you'll not only understand more about the company's culture and goals, but you'll also be very well prepared to demonstrate your values and how they align with those of the company. For example, Amazon loves to interview candidates using their core leadership principles. Google emphasizes technical competence in their interviews. And Meta tends to ask about people skills, like your ability to manage conflict or deal with difficult team members. And finally, tip number three, prepare for system design interviews. System design interviews are often asked and require a different type of preparation than people management interviews. These are often in the format of Design X, where you'll be asked to discuss a technical design for a product. For each system you design, Consider its trade-offs in different aspects like efficiency, maintainability, scalability, reliability, and availability. Note that reliability and availability are related, but not the same. While covering all these concepts may not be in your initial answer, your interviewer will likely push you with follow-up questions. For instance, if you're designing Instagram, your interviewer may ask, how might your design hold up when Instagram scales to a billion users? Where are the weak points in your design? and where might you want to rethink your system architecture. I hope this helped paint a picture of the engineering manager interview.